Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about CCIV. We're gonna review the swing trade that I've been holding since February 2nd. We'll talk about why I got into that and the risk management I use to let those sit in my portfolio. And then we're gonna review probably the luckiest trade in my trading career. Now I say lucky because the spike that occurred on CCIV was definitely not my plan. It was not what I was anticipating, but Thankfully, I was in the call options when that big spike happened, when the news dropped today about the potential merger with CCIV and Lucid Motors. So I say lucky. Some other people may say it was some type of a smart trade, but I'm here being transparent and I'm going to review that with you today. I made just over $5,000 today on CCIV alone between the swing trade and the day trade. So let's go ahead and break those down. So before we do that, make sure to smash that like button for me, subscribe to the channel for some future option trading videos, and press the bell notification so you know every single time that I post on the channel. All right guys, so on February 2nd, I purchased some April $40 calls on CCIV. I saw the premium, it was something that I was willing to lose. I was playing this for more upside, some more continuation, around the rumors between the SPAC, CCIV, and Lucid Motors. I got into this with risk management, something that I'm willing to let go, and I was planning to just hold this to see if we had any more continuation, if more news could drop about this potential merger. And the reason I was so bullish on this, or why I was willing to put money into it, is because it was EV. Lucid Motors is an EV company. We all know that EV has been extremely hot around the market, and I knew if we got any more news moving forward about an EV company going public, it would definitely cause a big reaction in the stock. Well, today is the day that that call finally paid off. I'm up just about 80% on those calls. Intraday, they were up a little bit more, about 120%. So we'll go ahead and review the calls that I purchased, why I purchased that call, and we'll talk a little bit about the chart and what I see moving forward. All right, so I have E-Trade pulled up where I'm currently holding this CCIV call. And you guys can see I'm holding an April 16th, 2021 CCIV call, a $40 call. I bought it at 1230 and right now it's trading around 2230 on the ask. Right now up about $965. Now I purchased these back on February 2nd. I'll pull up the Discord chat where I called this out. So basically my idea around this was that it was a risky play trade at your own risk. I said that, you know, don't trade with much size, something that you can't afford to lose. It's a SPAC type of trade, you know, just sort of a gamble. Honestly, it's a gamble at this point that maybe we get some more continuation. Maybe we get some more rumors around this potential merger. If it happens, it pays off big. If it doesn't happen, you can cut the loss for maybe a 50% loss, or you can just let it ride. And that's sort of why I got some time on this expiration. So I got April's giving me about two months from when I got them to let this work out, to let the potential merger happen. And it looks like it is paying off. So up about $965 right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and hold that. I'm gonna let the sort of continuation happen. Maybe tomorrow we get a little bit of a move higher, but let's go ahead and look at the chart and sort of see what I think may, ha may happen here. So here's today's chart. Obviously, absolutely huge move. You know, we saw from the time where there was some news that dropped around uh, 239, that, I'm sorry, 139 is when it dropped. We had a big move up to $55 a share. We had two halts in between that time. And obviously during that time, the call options were definitely appreciating quite a bit. Now, if I go back to the hourly chart or the yearly chart, we can see that this has made you know quite a move. Now, what is the right valuation for this SPAC company? What's the right valuation for CCIV? That is very hard to judge. At this point, I'll be trading this swing call for what, you know, sort of with momentum. Whenever I see a loss in momentum, maybe I'll go ahead and take my profits. But at this time, I think the momentum is high. I think this, this news coming out today could continue as higher. And once we hit a certain number, maybe if this goes crazy to $100 a share, that would be sort of the point where I say, okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. I definitely want to lock in some profits at this point. So at this point, I'm still going to hold. We had a nice flag breakout right here on the daily. We had a nice flag breakout here. So we've been making some nice upward bullish momentum. These last two days have been pretty crazy. And I'm just going to continue to hold this. I have the amount of money I have in it is something I'm willing to lose. It's in my portfolio. I'm playing with profits. I actually moved some of my Tilray profits, a, a recent swing trade I took into this call. So if I lose it all, I give back, you know, what I already have made 
And that's sort of how I think about playing these. I play them with profits. I don't go in too large. Obviously, if I put like 10,000 or 20,000 into this, I'd be up a ton, but that is way too risky for my style. So I'm going to continue to hold this. Today was obviously a great day, and we're sitting up about $1,000 on this CCIV call. We will see what happens tomorrow. The after hours is holding up pretty well. So I do like how we were able to hold that $50 level today. After this big break, after the halts, we did not really fall under $50 a share, which is a good sign. Sometimes if it was just complete BS, you would see this thing turn right back over to where it started, which is right around $41 a share. But we sort of consolidated the rest of the day. We're holding up in the after hours. So I am still bullish moving into tomorrow. If we get another monster move, then maybe I would think to go ahead and take some profit. So now that we went over that swing trade, I want to talk about this insane day trade that I took today. On the day, I'm up over $2,400, so a nice day on the portfolio. We're up to about $9,000, 9.1. Started this account with $5,000 in the beginning of February, so a really nice month so far. On CCIV alone, a $4,700 trade, a monster trade. So you guys can tell I was sort of down on the day before this point. I was down about $600 on the day after the CCIV trade. I did give back a little bit. So I ended up get, ending the day around $2,400. So it sort of pulled me out of the red today. I am thankful for it. I know I was lucky on this trade. And that is something that is important to know when you are a trader. You don't want to get confused between a lucky trade and a really good trade. I know this was not a good trade. I know that it was somewhat of luck. I had money in the game. I didn't have too much money in the game, so it was sort of in my risk management, so I was okay at the time. I was planning on taking a small red day, but I saw some momentum here on CCIV. I saw this run up here, and then I sort of saw a pullback, held the 9 EMA, and I was looking for a break above $42 or $41 for a move back to 42. That was my game plan. So I got into this trade at it was at 1339 so 139 17 seconds so that is on the candle that made a huge move but you probably won't believe me here but this is honest truth i got into this call 17 seconds before the news dropped that ccv was potentially merging with spac where well, i'm sorry with lucid motors i don't know how i got this lucky i'm i swear to you i don't have insider information but I bought this call 17 seconds on this same candle that the news dropped. The reason I bought this call on this candle was because it was starting to move higher before this absolutely huge candle. We broke above 41.20 and I was looking for it to make this intraday high or break out of this intraday high right here and start to move back to 41.80 and potentially get us to $42 a share. Now I got lucky. This move went a whole lot higher than I was expecting and you can see I got in this call at 13.39, so 139 for $2.95. I had 10 contracts, and within five minutes, I sold the first half for 650, and about five minutes later, I sold the second half for nine dollars. So almost a 300% gain in just about 10 minutes. That was this was between two halts. So the reason these are five minutes apart is because it halted twice, and at each resumption of the halt, I got out half and eventually took my profits on this position. So an absolutely insane trade, really padded my portfolio today, up $4,700 just on that call, up $2,400 on the day. I don't know what else to say about it. I was getting in it here at 1339, so 139. I was looking for the break of 4120, a nice little intraday breakout. We were making higher lows. We were holding the nine EMA. And I was looking for just a quick move up to $41.80 or $42 a share. That was my whole game plan. And for some reason, by you know God's gift, this whole news dropped at the almost the exact time I got into this. So if I zoom out and I make this smaller, you guys can see that it went absolutely ballistic. I got out five on this first halt, the resumption of this halt. And then I got out five at the top near here on this resumption of this halt. So I wanted to lock in profits. I knew that I'm not going to get greedy here. Pigs get slaughtered. If I continue to hold this, I probably will lose these great profits that I had. So on each resumption of the halt, I got out and I really sort of nailed this from bottom to top, which is absolutely crazy. It's awesome. I'm happy I made the money. I'm happy the account was padded today. But I do, again, want to remind myself and anyone out there that this was a lucky trade. I have to come into tomorrow and forget about it. 
I can't think that I'm on top of the world and I'm a great trader just because of this trade. So we'll see what happens. My plan is to obviously keep these profits. I'm happy with the trade and hopefully you guys can get some entertainment about this absolutely insane trade that I experienced today. So for anyone that got in CCIV on that April $40 call with me, congratulations on the profits. Anyone else out there that traded it today, congrats if you caught that big move. Remember, don't get greedy, take profits. When we see a loss of momentum, I definitely recommend to lock some in. As I said earlier, a very important thing as a trader is to be able to know the difference between a lucky trade and a perfectly executed trade. Today, it was a good entry for me, but what happened after I got in was definitely lucky, and it's important for me to know the difference. It's not something that I'll be able to repeat. It's not something that I'll be able to do over and over again into the future, so I have to take it as a quick win, walk away, and get back to my real mentality of trading and looking for these breakouts. I'm here to be real with you guys. I'm here to help you guys out as traders to make sure you are on the right track, to make sure you're not getting into this gambling mentality, this YOLO mentality. So I hope you do appreciate that. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed that trade, if you enjoyed that entertainment, make sure to smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel for some future live trading options, trading videos. Make sure to press that bell notification and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.